up everybody? Shane Kirkwood here from Foy Storm Media. We're here actually at Cage Kings. First of all, Ryan, what do you think of Cage Kings? I think it's the new, the biggest promotion in the country at the moment. Uh, Bear the Super Show in Cork, but I think Cage Kings, if, if it gets the explosion it deserves, I think it will blow. Great, great I show. Actually, a couple of your teammates were fine tonight. Yeah, well, tonight, usually, because it's my trainer's promotion, so yeah. like, usually if it's in Cork, We'll have a full team training and fighting for us, and uh, but tonight we've only had one guy from Cork. Yeah. Because the rest of us only fought last month on the Super the Show. Super Show, so yeah. We can't really fight so close all the time, like you know. So it's whatever fights come up, but tonight we only had one or one Cork guy. Um, bit of news about yourself is that you are gonna be doing something extremely adventurous and exciting. That's it. On foreign turf. Tell uh, mm -hmm. us and first time and everybody out there about it. Uh, I fought on foreign turf, turf uh, loads of times, and it doesn't really bother me. We are just like I'll fight anyone, so like this fight is still a fight for the ISK world title in uh, full Muay rules. I'm actually the youngest A class fighter in the country uh, so far. So like I'm only training four years, and these these opportunities like don't come around every every day. Like so, I, when they come around, I'll take it. Doesn't matter who, where, or when. Japan like for the IS, ISK world title. Uh, that's the biggest achievement. If I can achieve that, like, that's the goal kind of set, really. Yeah, this isn't just going a little bit far. This no. is going at the opposite side of the world. And as you said, at, at such a young age, like how does how does that feel getting the experience that you're getting abroad, fighting for a world title? Yeah, well, like I fought in I fought in a couple of places across the world. I fought in uh, Arizona for a, a junior world title. I won that, so that was kind of just when I was kind of fighting uh, just C class. Yeah. But now I fight. I stepped up to A class when I was uh, 16. So I know like I fight for rules in his back garden, like, so it doesn't really matter. I just fight over there to take that strap. Yeah, I, know it's gonna be hard. I know it's going to be hard because when you fight abroad and you fight in someone else's back garden, you know you have to kind of really dominate the fight yeah. and you have to make sure that you, you have win. to win the fight basically. Yeah. And like it's happened before I fought, in, I fought abroad before and I've often lost. And like you could win the fight, but you really have to dominate it. You can't just go in and do tight score and you have to actually make sure to, the crowd knows, the judges know, everybody knows that you beat, beat yeah. them up. So that's the plan, just going and try and beat him up. Preparing for a fight like this, especially like your opponent, do you know much about him or if anything? I know, I've seen a couple of clips. He fought a mate of mine, uh, Daniel McGowan, for the, for the belt in uh, December or in January, he, he, which he won. Um, but it was supposed to be a very bad decision. It's what poorly given. Uh, which is why you need to submit to Yeah, like, and I know he's a, a tough guy. He's took a lot, he takes a lot of shots. But if I can just go in and do my game plan, try and keep him sh like stay sharp, keep him out of uh, range, I think I can beat him. Does, it, does he matter when it comes to your training or do you just focus on yourself? I focus on myself. Once I, once I know I'm fit, ready to fight, that's it, there's no stop me there. And talk to me about your team, because like, obviously they're who are going to sharpen you and get you ready for, the, for this fight. Like, What are you going to do? Like, You're obviously going to go back down to Cork to Soyan and Yeah, like I train twice a day. I train at 6 in the morning. And I train at six in the evening to nine o'clock, so I go to about half eight, nine o'clock. So I train all day, every day, nearly. And uh, the hours I put in with the team, like, we're actually probably the, we're actually the biggest club in the country at the moment. Like we've always been the, the top kind of club in the country, and um, since I'm there for four years, we've achieved like we're the only club in the country with the European title, two European titles, and um, no one else has gone above that really. Um, our gym is known to be a, a world class club. And we've got a world class fighter, so every time someone has a fight, everyone will take take things out of their day to do to train for everyone else. Like, everybody. So like we're not just a club, we're a family, like you know, we bond, everyone trains together. Like even outside the club, like we are always together, like you know, hanging with the lads and we're always together, we're always training together. So we always push each other to the limits. Um in in Ireland and around the world, um a lot of attention is given to mixed martial arts and specific fighters that are going abroad and, and doing well in that and people think that that's the sport to be in but how do you feel going and representing Ireland and your team abroad for a world title which is a, a, a verified bona fide proper world title like yes it's, it's, the, yeah. it's the elite world title so how, how do you feel representing your country at such a high level uh, to be honest no it's still a bit shocking to me because I'm, I never thought I'd actually achieve what I've achieved in such a sure, short man. period like so I'm only training for four years in April but like I've been in Guys who you could raid me off against, they've actually came over the top, and it doesn't matter. Like for this fight, I'll just do the same thing. I was train extra hard, and if I can do something for the country and bring back a world title here, and um, it'd be amazing. Not just for myself, but the country alone. You know, like even for Cork, like it'd be great for Cork, because Ireland don't have a lot of world champions except for like MMA. Probably have a couple. I wouldn't really follow the MMA scene, 
Thai boxing is not actually nobody in this country has a world title in Thai yeah. boxing. Uh, a, fo a professional world title in Thai boxing in this country. So if I can, if I can be the first to achieve that, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. Yeah. Everybody, make sure you get behind Ryan. Uh, this is an Irish fighter gone abroad to Japan, enemy turf, and looking to bring home that title, which I'm sure you will, Ryan. That's so it. we here at Five Star Media would like to wish you all the best. Thanks very much. Thank you.